Welcome to another episode of SVN Sailing, our series dedicated to the more technical aspects of sailing. We're in front of Marina Cala di Sardi. This is a place where we normally shoot our videos. It's in northeast of Sardinia, and it's a home base of NSS Charter, the company that makes available to us the boats and the support staff uh, for our videos. Uh, but our video will not be shot here. It will be shot very far from here in the island of Filicudi in the Olean Islands in the north of Sicily because that's where NSS Charter uh, recently opened a base in Porto Rose on the mainland and they told us well why not shoot a video there and I said fine. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna meet Simona Pasqua a skipper who has been working for NSS charter for more than 20 years and she will tell us something about how to moor at a mooring field. So uh, let's go to Filicudi and find out how to moor at a mooring field. How to moor a boat to a buoy. Why? Because in Italy, around islands, you often have buoy fields, right? Lots buoy uh, with lots of buoys or buoys or balls. But anyways, whatever you call them, that's what you need to attach to. Now, uh, that maneuver is not very difficult, but it's not very easy. It depends on the conditions. If you have assistance from the ground, it's going to be very easy. But sometimes you don't. We arrived last night, it was dark. Yeah. and we had to do everything on our own. So to talk to us about how to moor your boat to a buoy, we have with us Simona Pasqua. Hi Simona. Hi Gabriele. Simona is a skipper for NSS Charter and she's been a professional skipper for over 20 years. Is that right? Correct. Okay. And she knows the Eolian Islands very well, so she, of course she knows very well how to attach herself to a buoy. As in most things in a boat, preparation is 80% of the work. So how do we prepare a boat for mooring? First thing to do is to open the gate. If we do have a platform, lower it and then prepare a line that is going to be at least one and a half the length of the boat and then we are going to use it to attach us from the stern to the bow. Okay, uh, so you're going to lower the uh, stern platform. Now, does that? why do we lower the stern platform? Like a lot of people just head straight for the, bu the buoy and then try to catch it with a boat hook. Yeah, but sometimes the buoy, they really wait a lot, so it's going to be difficult to lift them. Or if it's windy, it's going to be difficult to keep the boat uh, okay. with the bow to the wind. So the best thing to do is always arriving from the stern. Yes, and of course the stern is going to be lower, so you're going to be close to the buoy. It's going to be much easier to grab yeah. the ring at the top. Okay, that's the theory. Shall we go more this boat? Yes, let's do Take it. Way. Follow me. So uh, we are assuming now that we are approaching the buoy in a light breeze. And uh, which direction is the wind? The wind is behind us at the moment, so I'm going to turn the boat around. Yes. Okay. Around, yes. So the bow will be to the wind and then you'll back against the buoy. Is that yes, right? Exactly. Okay. And I see you've prepared everything like you said. I mean, the uh, platform is down, we open the lifelines and you have secured a long line to the cleat on the yes. left outside the lifelines, round the pulpit and down there, right. We have two wheels, you chose the wheel with the throttle, right? Yeah. So you can The closest be... one, it's going to be easier. Okay, so let's proceed. We can see Simona is turning the boat around and she will turn it uh, until she's facing the wind. Because of course, once we have the boat uh, secured, it's gonna, we want it to be bow to the wind, right? So that's why we're turning around and the breeze is light, so that's not going to be a problem. Okay, almost face to the wind. And now, of course, Simona is going to turn around so can she, you can see uh, where she's going. And that is our buoy. As you can see, it's pretty big. So it's not something you can actually raise and, and pull the way. What you want to do is pass the line and then slide the line 
and have the buoy slide towards the bow of the boat until you're ready to secure it. We are approaching the buoy. Okay, we are approaching the buoy. Of course, it's gonna be on the left side of the boat. We're almost there. That's two meters, one meter. We're assuming that uh, Simona is alone. So she's gonna be doing everything on her own. I'm not gonna move a finger. Okay, she's passing the line through the ring and then she's pushing the buoy so it goes around the boat. And of course, it's important for the line to go uh, obviously uh, around the pulpit and outside the lifelines. And now she's going to walk all the way to the bow and the boat is going to slide backwards. And then she's going to tighten the line and secure the other end of the line to the uh, cleat up there on the bow on the left. So uh, that's how we moor a boat in a light breeze. But what about a strong wind? That we will show in our next step. We are approaching the buoy in exactly the same way as we did before. I can't command the wind, so we still have a light breeze, but we are assuming this is not the case, and that the wind is strong, say 20 knots. Uh, so preparation is different. The line is different. The line she's using is much shorter because she will be attaching uh, the buoy to the stern of the boat and leaving it there. Why? Because with 20 knots of wind, it's very hard to pull the buoy up to the bow. So she's going to secure the boat, and once that is done, then she's going to wait for the wind to blow, and when it's done, she's just going to move the line to the front. No problem. So this time, we just pass the buoy, and uh, she's backing the boat into it. Why? Because, of course, if the wind is blowing that direction and it is strong, it's much better if we move towards the wind with the stern towards the wind. Okay, this will keep the boat straight. It's, the boat is in neutral, and she's gonna stop it by uh, putting it in forward for a short burst. Uh, she's gonna pass as a short line through the ring, outside the pulpit, and this time she's gonna secure it to the stern cleat. We can wait here all night if necessary, and when conditions are okay, we can move the line up to the front. This way will be uh, with the bow to the buoy, but this is perfectly okay. I mean, we're stern to the buoy, who cares? Same thing, boat is secure and uh, everything's okay. So that's it. We've shown you how Simona moors this boat at a buoy. Uh, thank you, Simona. You're welcome. Thank you to NSS Charter. They made this test possible by providing the boards and support. And if you enjoyed the video, please let us know by clicking on like. Most important, click on the link in the description uh, to subscribe to SVN Network. It's free. You will receive our free digital magazine, news of upcoming videos, and special articles on technical issues. Uh, I'm Gabriel Lepour. Bye from SVN Network. <music>